Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to add this remote control to any device. And you can see this is H32B Pro Relay Controller. And this is the KC868AG. Because now we need to use this remote control, the RF remote control, to control this relay controller. And this relay board not have the remote function, can't receive the RF signal directly. So we add this AG, the gateway. And we send this IF signal to this controller, and this controller will send the command uh, by the network to the H32P Pro Relay Controller. Actually, you can use this way to remote control any relay board, not only Kinkonis relay board, just any relay board you know the protocol so that you can learn the IF signal and send by the network to the relay board. And you can see this is AG gateway. Uh, this can receive and sending the IF and the IR signal. So this is very beautiful. And I have used this connect with my load by Wi-Fi, but the H32 Ethernet relay controller have connect with by the Ethernet Ethernet cable. So that will be stable use the Ethernet. So let's look at how to use this. AG and learning the RF signal to control this annually, turn on and turn off and talking. You can see here is our AG website, and this is for the H32B Pro, and this IP address, and this IP address, and this we can integrate by the HTTP command for H32B Pro, and also you can use the TCP command, this string command. I have copied it here, and for example, tell you how to learning the signal and send it to other relay board. So you can see, we can use this FTTT function. And the first step, you need to learning the signal from IF. And the second, you need to create the customer size protocol at here. And the third, we just need to set the FTTP command. That is running locally without internet. Okay, the first we can click and click RF. The first, we need to learning, uh, such as you can see, uh, this is the remote, this is the button. You can see I can press this button. The red LED will be on because it have sent the signal, RF signal. So you can see I can click learning. And this time, I can click. You can see successfully. Then the AG have learning the signal from this RF remote. So I can click close, and this have been learned. And in protocol and customer, we can create a customer protocol. So you can see, I can use the HTTP command or use the TCP command. The first we can use easily, just set this command. This command, the protocol, you can from at here, that is Kinkoni. Uh, API and SDK. If you have your own relay board, so you can use your own protocol. So that is talking uh, change the relay state, uh, talking relay one. So I have copy this command, copy and paste it here. And the protocol option will use the TCP connection. Before you choose this TCP client, uh, you can see I have set the generate and the TCP client have connected with my H32B Pro. Because my H32B Pro, you can see here, I have used this IP address. I can let it easy to see that. And you can see here the IP address at here and the port, the port 4196 uh, at here. So this AG have connect with this H32P relay board by the TCP connection according to this IP and this is the port. So only need to set this IP and port and we can go to the customer size and just click TCP client and paste the, uh, this protocol name and click save. Okay, uh, this customer command have saved. 
and at last we just click FTDT and create automation you can edit the number one you can see I can click edit and the name is such as I can choose talking one talking little one you can change by yourself and enable this command and we can click if condition if the if because I have running the button one so you can choose this if one and click apply and this I can choose this customer protocol so you can see I can click and this protocol number is one I can create the number one protocol for talking relay so just click apply and click save and the age will be restart after restart let's look at test this remote okay let's test this button one you can see uh, this is my relay one LD indicate so you can see I can press it the relay one is on and press again the relay is off so now this time I can use this send the signal to the AG and AG send to the H32 B Pro because sometimes uh, this H32 B Pro is installed on your power distribution box maybe the metal box can't receive this RF signal and maybe this install in your first floor and this this room install on the third row or second row so that will have very long distance so this not have enough the signal to send to the H32 B Pro so this you can install anywhere and this you can install any room so you just connect in the local network so that you can use this to control this relay on and off no any distance limit just in local network by this one load okay this is how to learning this signal uh, and send to control this relay and also we can use this second remote uh, to learning the RF signal because sometimes this is the first people and this is the second people or maybe have third people so you can use a different remote and all learning to this age board and make the FTTT to control this different relay controller okay let's test the second button you can see I can click RF and learning the second signal you can see this time I learning this button I can click learning and press this button successfully okay we can choose close and the customer size and this time we can turn on and turn all off this relay so you can see I can copy this command and the TCP client and this is all on and I have created uh, another that is all off so this is all off uh, the second is on, all on the third is all off so click save and also I can create the second button this button for all off so you can see I can press learning and press successfully and close and now we can go to FTTT and edit and this second we can all on and enable uh, if IF signal is number two and the customer size protocol is number two apply and save press ok so you can see here I can press this button this already is on you can see this number 2 is learning and send the command to the h 32 b Pro ok let's test another FTTD command that is all off so we can click edit and this is all off and enable and the IF signal is number 3 apply and the customer size put in number three so apply and press save and wait restart okay now let's test this this button whether it work well okay you can see uh, I can press this button uh, this is all off 
and you can see this first button is all on and the second button is all off all on and all off so this time you can use this remote control all really on and off and this remote also can use you can see i can click uh, this really is one channel is talking one channel is talking and all on and all off now i will show you how to set the command by the http command and also we can create the if signal and this one the third learning and press uh, learning successfully and close and uh, protocol customer protocol and this time we can use this turn on really one uh, ju just this command so this command uh, about the protocol you can see here uh, that have the document have just uh, how to send this command and just you can see the relay one is on and the relay one is off so it's very easy and the post password you can see here the h32p pro uh, web page so that here you can see here that the post password is 12345 so i said the post password is 12345 uh, this 12345 and this 12345 so it's very easy so you can see i can just copy uh, this to turn off really one so this is turn off turn off really one and copy and paste it here okay now we can just click http get use this get we send to http to be pro and this you can see the URL we can paste at here just just at here now we can press save and okay and go to the FTD command and make our automation add and also this is HTTP off and enable it and the IF that is number four apply and this customer size also is protocol number four and apply and press save and we'll restart and let's test uh, this the third button now you can see uh, i can use this for all on and this is third button press you can see the channel one is off so this is sent by the HTTP command. So you can see I can press again or or on, and this click this or uh, off turn off the channel one. So I can press this button for off. So you can see I can use this button is sent by TCP command, and this button is sent by HTTP command. Turn on relay one that is by the TCP command, and the turn off relay by HTTP command. So the different protocol can work at the same time, just send by this gateway. Okay, I think you can use this way to learning any RF signal and to this AG board. And the AG will send a command uh, to any relay board or any different board, just you know the protocol. And this will be very, very interesting because it's no the distant limit. Okay, thanks for watching.